Chef Bobby Hammock from the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum is gearing up for a big weekend. Welcome back to Talk of the Town. Great well, to have you. Thank you for having me back. Yeah. Mother's Day. Big You're day. treating mom so she doesn't have to cook with yeah. a big Mother's Day brunch. Absolutely. I mean, let's celebrate our moms. They do so much and done so much for us. I mean, take them out for lunch. Yeah, for sure. And one of the really great things if you come to the Hall of Fame is not only you get a great food, you get the museum, you get the tour, all the wonderful exhibits, as well as the concert. Nice. The, the, uh, the show we have. So it's... Um, Martin Family Circus. So That'll be fun. One of our featured items, we're going to do a, uh, an asparagus and, and green salad. Yeah, and the cool thing about this salad is it has fried black-eyed peas. Yeah, it's a little taking our southern heritage and yeah. taking it just a different twist. Plus, it's gluten-free. Oh, yeah, So anybody who great. has any gluten intolerance, any kind of issues, we can uh, take care of it that way. Cool. All right, so how do we get started here? Okay, well, you have a glass. Okay. And here we got some fresh asparagus. I peel the asparagus because it makes it much more tender. Sometimes around as it gets toward the root, it gets tougher. So it it's, takes you five minutes or less to peel it with a, uh, a vegetable peeler. And then you can either grill it, you can poach it, you can uh, roast it, however mm -hmm. you like your asparagus, and okay. let it chill. And you can do it two or three days ahead as you're preparing your whole meal. Good idea. So one thing we like to do is put our dressing in the bottom of the glass. We're going to do it in a martini presentation. That's kind of fun. And How that much? way the dressing will not wilt the salad if it's going to sit on a buffet table. Great so thing. That's, like that's, that? That's perfect. All right. And I'll make one with you. So we've got that. And if we take some lettuce, we have different kinds of baby lettuce leaves. We've got a red, red uh, romaine. We can put that in there. We've got a, uh, a baby green romaine there. Over here we have some Belgian endive, which you can get pretty much anywhere now. It's kind of a bitter, but it's not real, real bitter. And I can, like it. I think it's kind of fun. And you can be as creative as you want. That's the nice thing about I love about salads is you don't, whatever your style, whatever my style, they all come out nice. Yeah. Then we put a couple, two or three pieces of asparagus in here. Okay. How we doing? And then we may take, we got some uh, red for say. Oh, that's pretty. There. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna. And a little more here is some uh, green. Cool. Give it color. Okay. And then we have crumble goat cheese. Now, not everybody likes goat cheese. You could do blue cheese. You could do cheddar. Any kind yeah. of cheese you like. Okay. Um, then we have some baby heirloom tomatoes. Um, Get whatever tomatoes you like. You're slicing those down the I middle. I love just, goat cheese, so you yeah. see I put a lot on there. Yes. <laughs> and I just cut them in half. You can cut them in quarter. You can marinate them if you'd like, just whatever you'd like to do. But it gives it you know, beautiful color in there. If you like tomatoes, you can put more. Radishes. And I got some fresh radishes, which is always nice. Give it a little crisp and a color. And then we f can finish up with the black eyed peas. I want you to take a look at these. Now tell me how you fried these. Okay, what I'd usually do, take the, cook the black eyed peas, and I toss them in cornstarch. Very okay. simple. And then put them in uh, hot oil, about 350 degrees. Let them fry, skim them off. Put them maybe a paper towel and then put a little salt. The salt helps keep them dry. Nice. Now one thing you'll notice, if you can do them a couple days ahead and they may get a little soggy, just drop them back in the oil, bring them back up, and they're good that day. Nice and crispy and crunchy. Yeah. And it takes the place of a crouton or whatever. Like yeah. I said, it's a That's protein. That's a unique idea. Ooh. A runaway pea didn't want to be in the <laughs> I guess we'll have to eat that one. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> this looks and really good. And they got, you know, I think That's a very such nice, a pretty beautiful presentation, salad. and that didn't take long to put together at Absolutely. all. Absolutely. And so you do all your prep a day ahead. You're ready to go because you got a lot of things making. Like we're making pot roast. We're doing a chicken cassoulet. So we're doing really some nice homey things that uh, we get at home, but our moms don't have to cook. And the grown-ups get a free mimosa, too, so that's Absolutely. pretty cool. Or Bloody Bobby, Mary. thanks so much. <laughs> Appreciate you being with us My today. Pleasure. It looks Thank so you. good. We're going to link you to the website for the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum for details on their Mother's Day brunch.